Okay, so here's a short video explaining why I believe you need to be careful with the big three, the lifts that everybody is recommending to add on muscle mass at the fastest possible rate. I say you need to be cautious with them, and I'm going to show you some uh, visual examples and some photos of what I mean by that. So let's start with photo number one here. Okay, here's an example of a guy who is uh, extremely muscular. Uh, he's a big guy. You can tell that he's probably extremely strong in the gym, impressive at bench pressing, and and probably can deadlift a ton and and, and uh, squat a bunch too. Unfortunately, if you look at his lower body, there is a uh, curvy look to it. Um, the obliques are, you know, he has a thick waist from, do, you know, doing the deadlifts and squatting and stuff like that because it requires a decent amount of muscle to stabilize your upper body when you're doing extremely heavy lifting like that. And uh, from the hip bone on down the side of the leg to the knee, um, it kind of explodes out. And if you look at that red line, it's almost an hourglass effect. And if you're a guy, I think you want to um, avoid that. And as you can tell too, the jeans are those really kind of big baggy relaxed fit jeans um, that kind of taper inward and stuff like that. And uh, those, are, those are kind of a disaster as well. But if you're a big guy with a, it does tons of squatting and deadlifting and stuff, that's really your only option, which um, is kind of a bad deal as well. So Here's another example. Um, this guy is a lot more lean than the first guy. He looks like he's in competitive bodybuilding shape. And his physique, it's impressive. I mean, he, you know, it took a number of years, I'm sure, to get to this level of conditioning. And uh, he has extremely low body fat levels here. And he's dieted down. And, uh, and again, impressive, but not necessarily the look that you're after if you just want uh, a pleasing physique. So... Um, and as you can see in this picture, his legs kind of have that sweeping curvy effect to him. And bodybuilding magazines and, and fitness magazines and forums, they even talk about how to build the sweep to the thighs, the, the cur you know, to make the, the thighs really jut out. And uh, my opinion is you should avoid that, and you don't want to have massive legs like this. If you were to draw a line from the outside of his quad, and, you know, right above his knee, straight up, it's almost as wide as his shoulders. And... I, I would recommend to avoid that sort of look. So let me show you a couple pictures of a, of a better, you know, more angular look and, and what I mean by not curvy. So here we go. Okay, here's a guy that's uh, slim and muscular and has more of a clean look to it. See, the it's, the, the it's more of an angular look. Like if you go from the armpit down to the down to the hip, it's more of a straight line. It doesn't, you know, curve in and explode out. And you can't see his legs, but I would um, almost guarantee that it's, guarantee it's a more straight up and down line. So here's a guy, too, you know, that angular look, not curvy. And this is what I'm talking about. And again, when we were talking about the first guy who was wearing those big jeans and stuff, the problem with um, over-reliance on squats and deadlifts in particular is it's near impossible to look cool in a suit. Um, I ran a men's suit store for a number of years, and it was guys that came in that were that big, you know, in the lower body especially. I mean, it was a disaster. They had to wear those big pleated pants, and, uh, you know, they didn't didn't look very good because they kind of almost had to make MC Hammer pants. They had to bring in the waist, but then they had to get these huge wide leg pants, and uh, jeans are, are, are even, even worse. Uh, the selection is bad, so... That should be important to you too, because you know you're not, you know, out of your clothes all the time. You should want to be able to fit into nice clothes as well. And here's a gentleman that has more of that lean, angular look, um, an example of that. So, um, hopefully that makes sense to you. In the next video, I'm going to talk about how it's not just where you add the muscle mass that matters; it's the type of muscle that you add too. There's different ways of lifting that will make a muscle either look kind of that soft and fluffy, pumped look, kind of rounded or um, more dense and angular, which I think is, is a better look to aim for. So check out video number two. It's uh, partway down the page. Just read the text in between, and it's a short video too, but important. All right, thanks.